Today, we will be talking about left brain and right brain approaches to senior living marketing for highest outcomes. And you guys are already, um, you're already participating in left brain and right brain approaches just by the fact that you have hired human beings on your marketing and sales team. So we will cover the full Monty and how to make the most of all of that great talent that you have in your circle. All right, so our learning objectives. Um, first, I'm gonna take you through how to engage the left brain thinkers on your team to complete strategic marketing planning for the organization. And then in our second segment, we'll talk about how to engage the right brain thinkers on your team to enhance all marketing efforts with storytelling. And then our third and final segment, we will cover industry insights on marketing calls to action for the senior living uh, industry that actually really work. So the challenge is that you, you likely have an internal marketing team that is, um, has hired maybe one or two marketing agencies. And then every internal marketing team also um, has to answer to the CEO and COO. Your internal marketing team might be responsible for marketing planning, some design and copywriting, overall creative direction, um, process and quality assurance, and then perhaps training. Then maybe you've outsourced to one marketing agency sort of all of the creative, right? So um, they're working with you on marketing planning. They're also doing some brand development or brand amplification. They're working on storytelling marketing for you. Um, they're taking creative direction from you and or um, and or uh, providing it to your team, or there's a symbiosis between the two. They're engaged in that process and quality assurance conversation with you. And then they're probably supporting with some design and copywriting. Then you might have a second marketing agency that is really overseeing uh, the digital marketing analytics. They might be saying, what brand, what creative direction? Like we're just following our own path for how we do design and copywriting and execution for digital marketing. And they're data analysts, they're very results measure, results and measurement focused. Um, so different thinkers than your first marketing agency, which is why perhaps you've engaged too. Then you have the CEO and COO come in. I always laugh and smile at this part because in our experience, the internal marketing team might have a really great grasp on marketing planning and quality assurance and all the things and it's ticking and humming and then give me a little um, a little digital hand if, if you ever have had your CEO or COO walk in and say, I have an idea and it does not at all jive with what is in the plan or the process. Um, so in managing all of this, what we witness is that a lot of times it becomes just a, a big headache and a jumbled up mess to manage. So let's rethink this challenge. If we start to think about left brain and right brain talent on your collective marketing team, meaning the internal team and the external team in the way of your marketing agencies, and even your CEO and COO, um, you have two types of folks. You have the left brain thinkers who are like the integrators and the right brain thinkers who are like the visionaries. I just want to check in here with you, Jennifer. I see four people in the waiting room. Do you still want me to let folks in or have you got that handled? Give me just one second. I'm not hearing anything from her. So I'm going to just, there we go. All right. So, um, your integrators, your left brain folks are the detail oriented people. They keep the team productive. They resolve conflicts. They execute your plans and they maximize results. Your right brain thinkers are your visionaries. So they're the ones with the passion and the drive. They're really great at brainstorming ideas. They spark creativity in the rest of the team. They're great at launching campaigns, but not necessarily executing the full campaign plan. And visionaries are really those who fuel growth in your company. Another way to think of this 
instead of how they think, you could think about what type of work they're very good at and start to think in your minds. I'm going to give you an exercise in just a minute and we're going to share. Start to think in your minds of who the names of the people on your team who fit these descriptions, right? So your left brain thinkers are working on, on work like marketing planning, digital marketing and analytics, data analysis, results measurement, training, process Q&A, right? So very concrete, um, factual, data-driven thinkers who are working on that type of work. Your visionary um, minds are working on brand development or amplification. They're working on creative direction. They're working on infusing storytelling into all of your content marketing and, and social media marketing. Um, a lot of your designers or copywriters will be um, right brain visionaries. And they are the executors of tasks, whereas your left brain integrators are the executors of strategies. We'll look at that in just a moment. Um, you will have gotten a digital handout. Usually when I lecture live, I use this uh, for the exercise we're about to do. But on the right hand side, you see um, a matrix. So, so if you get out a piece of paper and draw that matrix like this, and write left brain on the left side and right brain on the right side, and I'm gonna do this with you. And I want for you to just make a quick list of the names of people on your collective marketing team internally or externally. So it could be um, marketing agency folks. It could be folks on your team within the organization and just jot those people's names down. So I'm thinking in terms of, okay, left brain thinkers. Our general manager, Molly, is a left brain thinker. Um, right brain thinker. I am a very right brain thinker, very creative, not great at follow through, but really great at big ideas. Um, our creative director, Stephanie is a right brain thinker. She's all about brainstorming and designing and um, connecting creative dots. And then um, our online marketer, Adam, is very much left brain. So you're making your list like this. And who would like to give me an example of a couple of names that made your list, left brain and right brain? Give me what their titles are, their name and title. And you could just jump in popcorn style. Unmute and jump in. Who do you have down on your list? My executive director is a right brain and our marketer is a left brain. Excellent. Okay, good. So your executive director is a right brain, so very creative. And your, what was the title again? Uh, it's our marketer, our community relations director. Community relations director is very left brain, thinker, factual data. Is that right? Yes. Good, good. One more person. Give me an example of two, two different people on your collective team. Just unmute and jump in. Who is my volunteer? If you guys have been in one of my lectures in the past, you know that I can outweigh you. <laughs> one more volunteer. Just give me two names, a right brain thinker and a left brain thinker and what their titles are. So our, um, we have two marketing directors and one is a concrete, so very left brain. And the other one is very right brain. Great. And you described the left brain thinker as concrete. How would you describe the right brain th thinker? The right brain just creative and, and yeah. really out there. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes really out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Our, um, our creative director could be really out there too. And um, 
sometimes left brain thinkers who are so concrete and data driven are a bit mystified by the right brain thinkers. Like why, why do all of these ideas matter? Or why does this sort of, you know, outlandish direction matter? Um, but it really does fuel growth. All right, great. Thank you so much. So keep that list handy. And as we keep going, I'm going to, so the, the first module, like I said, I'm going to really do a deep dive into the, your left brain thinkers and just keep jotting those names down and any ahas that come to you in terms of what you want to bring to them as we, um, as we work through this together. Thank you to my volunteers. All right. So the solution, you have this collective marketing agency or collective marketing team. And I'm just going to take a minute to let some folks into the waiting room. All right, so the solution here is to group your left brain thinkers. So maybe in the marketing agency number two, we have those working on digital marketing, analytics, data analysis, results measurement. They're on the left brain side. Oh, somehow part of my slide is missing there. I apologize. Um, let me come back out this way because I think, huh, apologize. I went all the way through this right before and somehow it dropped off. These things happen. All right, so essentially you want to start thinking of each areas of your collective marketing team as your right brain thinkers and your left brain thinkers, your integrators and your visionaries. Ah, here we go. So your left brain integrators are typically, your COO is typically doing integration work, whereas your CEO is doing visionary work. Think, oh, the CEO is in charge of budgets, is in charge of um, uh, making sure that quality assurance is happening across all locations, making sure that all executive directors are adhering to um, sales uh, conformities, right? Your CEO literally sets a vision for the year or for the company, um, perhaps sets a vision for growth and acquisition of uh, new locations, um, is the one who can see the partnerships that she or he can um, facilitate in order to continue to scale the organization. So most COOs are doing integration work. Most CEOs are doing visionary work. Then let's say you have an internal team member, team member two, we'll say, who's really adept at marketing planning, training, and process. Again, feel free to take a, a picture of my slide and, and start jotting names in, in the, um, or, or a sketch of this and start jotting names down that come to you. Um, on the right-hand side, you might have another internal team member that has creative direction and brand development prowess. And then again, for your marketing agencies, you probably have one that's overseeing more of that concrete um, thinking and one that is doing more of the storytelling, design, copywriting, and execution, and maybe some of the outlandish ideas like that idea. So when you knit, when just by being aware of the differences and how folks think, you can then better align everybody on the team and put the right people in the right seats on the bus. Very often because um, there are staffing shortages and you all wear many, many hats and there are a lot of things happening day to day in the communities. It can be very easy to take, you know, internal team member one, who's great at creative direction and brand development and say, listen, team member two just quit. Can you take care of our marketing planning? It's not always in your best interest. You might want to, you know, in that case, rely on the agency number two that you already engaged for uh, that sort of thing and put the marketing planning in their court. Uh, just a quick break here, a little about me. I was once very young. I will one day be, be very old, um, like the folks who you serve. Uh, I started a little tiny marketing agency called Big Buzz in Denver, Colorado, 15 years ago, and um, now we are one of the largest marketing agencies in this city, and we serve organizations like yours across the nation, um, and I wrote a book, and I am regularly published in some other organizations, excuse me, some other publications, um, and then if you are curious about us, you can always find us at bigbuzzinc.com.